guy you see here is like uh, the first um, yeah, the first approach uh, to the new BMW i form language because as you know we, we promised 25 electrified models until 2025 where you're gonna have 12 electric cars and we said also that every BMW which is electric gonna be BMW i branded so you know the i3 so far you know the i8 and they have a very specific design which looks different than all the other BMWs and that was good also at the time because we wanted to express new technologies not just it doesn't look like this because it's electric electric design we had also with the active e we had also a mini already electric but uh, there we wanted to focus really to show okay we created a new brand and the brand stands for incubating the BMW group therefore we had to create two products very iconic which also give the, a face to BMW i but now as you want to really bring it to spread it to the big public to the big customers you have of course to change the the aesthetic of BMW i as you know some people love the car because it's so different and I'm I think also in 20 years everybody will remember the i3 but of course some people say why does it have to look like this uh, I, why can't I have just my uh, a 5 series electric yeah? and uh, here what you see here this is uh, we wanted to show that BMW i doesn't isn't just more intelligent or uh, just for intellectual people a BMW i here also therefore we don't have the interior is uh, we just want to concentrate on the aesthetic that you that you show BMW i is also BMW with the sexiness of a BMW what you expect from a BMW is the desire in the shapes yeah? and here you see a very reduced version of a BMW but reduced in the sense uh, a sustainable design and sustainability means less waste less emission and also in design of course less pollution in design yeah? you have less lines which are interfering actually the great proportions and you can see now really in there are so many angles where you where you see very an approach to classic car design yeah? nice shoulders nice surfaces and this is very important for us that when you transport new technologies when you when you forward in design and you say everything is new you need always the link to certain heritage to that you have a link to to qualities which have always been there if you if you're a car guy there are certain surfaces you always will love on a car and you're going to find them also on this car i mean you can see let's say okay now we see the side view yeah? BMW, uh, the front end and the rear end of a BMW is quite easy to recognize always because in the front you have the kidneys and you have this double uh, four eyes uh, in the front, double round, yeah, which we also have on every BMW so you recognize it at night or the L-shape real life. Yeah. Uh, but on the side, what makes a BMW different to any other car? So there was always a very iconic window graphic. And on every BMW, you have a Hofmeister King. On the BMW eyes, of course, we didn't have a Hofmeister King because they were different. But they had, at the time, for example, BMW i, we call it Streamflow. Yeah, we called it Streamflow. And uh, also the BMW uh, i8 has a very iconic window graphic. And here, we don't want to, this we don't call Streamflow. It's about just having a brand or a very iconic uh, logo on the side which also re makes it very visible immediately uh, as a BMW i product and as you can see the kidney is interrupted yeah? so it's connected how you can see already also on other BMW project products like the X7 or the 8 series have already again a connected um, kidney once because we think it brings more quality, it brings more as a mask which has a more solid approach and you know in the past kidneys were connected and here we connect them but the kidney here has a different function. It's not anymore the air intake, it's not the cooling behind. Here it, it expresses more the intelligence, it's the face and so it's the sensor area 
you have all the sensors which you need for assistance driving, for autonomous driving, they will be behind this area. And also we ilum illuminate the kidney with the blue to show really digital. This is where all the, yeah, the technology and uh, um, the intelligence of the cars. And now coming to the, to the side window graphic. The window graphic you can see is also has this squeeze in the middle. It's, it's like the kidney, which shows like also the democracy of the interior. Because once you drive in the in the uh, in autonomous mode, the the value of the driving position, you know, is changing. So the rear seat passenger gets actually the same same. Uh, maybe it's even more worse to sit in the back when the car is autonomous because you have a completely different interior space. And also with this window graphic, we want to show the symmetry. It's changing uh, front and rear become more equal because that the car is a driver's car you see anyway in the exterior and the driver in the in the uh, proportion of the car we we said we're gonna have a, a modular platform yeah we're gonna have in future also the possibility to have s some cars with combustion engine and electric so this car will will have to fulfill both yeah? driving and maybe autonomous and also autonomous can be an option yeah, so if you have an an option autonomous driving so you have to fulfill in the when you don't have this option the same reglementation so it's not changing just if you would do a car which is just let's say level four level five yeah, then and this is not optional then you it would have really influence of the design because then you would have the whole freedom level five maybe you don't need pedestrian reglementation and you don't need a bonnet I don't know but I think for us and the in the midterm future it won't have such a big impact more in interior because you will have to offer certain services to the customer when he's driving so you have to uh, enable the technology and also the geometry that it can work in both mode modi uh, so it can work when you drive because we can't make two completely different interiors but it has to be really convincing in both motors that when you don't drive that you have also uh, more yeah a, a, a strong uh, experience also in the user interface vision efficient dynamics to i8 yeah i mean i8 is of course not one-to-one -one the vision car but the transport still on the street it's still Everybody looks at it and it's completely different. Huh? So the a vision car is mainly shown on a stand. So a lot of people in the world, they will never see this car. Huh? They will maybe be lucky because there will be an exposition and an event and they're gonna see it, but you don't see it. So they will see it mainly on pictures, on media. And you know from your own experience, when a car, you have seen a car, and some people haven't seen it and they tell you yeah i've seen the car in pictures but it doesn't look so yeah but any car and you say yeah but i've seen it in real it's much more and so that everybody understands the vision you have to ex exaggerate yeah? because on 2d you will never a be able to to re to see the car as it is yeah? it's not possible therefore you have always this this point but when it once it comes to production you can easily also take 20% off yeah? uh, it will be also uh, for for the customer better because you can imagine 26 inch wheels uh, winter tires are more expensive than 22 inch winter tires so they won't be happy that it's so expensive and but we know that in real life when you see it on the street you don't have to go so hard yeah? my personal view is also that I don't think that um, electrification yeah I don't know even if the if the person who wants an electric car if he's just wants an electric car because of this newness of the high performance or of his green you know of his uh, environmental impact yeah? so I think there are still different type of persons some who just want to be maximum sustainable and some who love this uh, driving performance yeah this what you just know, no gears, yeah, just massive uh, impulse. And so um, 
I think um, it's for me it's really interesting to have the zero emission in urban life you know I mean if you come back from your holidays and you come in the traffic jam in a big town of course you're stuck and everybody is just all the time polluting because not everybody has a start-stop engine and then it's fantastic if you imagine there's zero emission but then you know there's the whole story behind okay where comes the electricity from uh, but this is something which is for me very inspiring to to express with BMW i also uh, uh, a form language an emotion which which somehow transports also the certain innocence of electrific uh, electrified cars yeah.